Right, um, we're at Scored End with the uh, swarm that I got yesterday, uh, which will henceforth be known as Remy's Swarm. And uh, they've been down here for a day, and as you might just see, there's one just going in down the bottom there. So uh, it's a wet day, so I wouldn't expect them to be out very much. And they're in there, and once her ladyship's made her mind up, um, just show you this. Oops, there's a little bundle of them there at the entrance. All quite docile. And what we're going to do with them is put them in this thing here, uh, what's called a nuke box. And it's got some frames in it's the one in the middle has got some admittedly rather grubby uh, comb that's been drawn out. So if there's a queen in there, and I'm assuming there is, she'll have somewhere to start doing her business if that's what she wants to do. Equally, the bees will be able to build up some honey in here uh, because they're probably very hungry indeed, which we'll do something about in a minute. So, uh, put that back in. The other ones are just plain ordinary ones, wax feet. So, what we're going to do is shake these into here. That's one other little thing I've done here, is that I'm not sure how effective this is. Here goes another one, two of them. I've kept it close, obviously, so they won't get lost. Um, this is what's called lemongrass uh, oil, and bees like this, and it smells like a pheromone that to them means this is home. So what I've done is I've got a little uh, Q-tip thing, whatever you call these things, and just put a couple of dabs around here, just so it smells nice. So, uh, my brush, and here we go. Uh, where's the little ones gone? There they are. There's a little bunch there, just to the entrance. So we'll get that thing out of the way and gently shush them in. Some of them gang in, some of them aren't. They do have a preference for walking uphill, unfortunately. They're going back in again. So it's going to be all or nothing. And in they go. Up on that. Still a few bees in here, but we'll shake them in as well. And my trusty brush. And uh, obviously there's a few flies, but they seem reasonably okay. And I will just pointlessly look for the queen, which I won't be able to see. But you can see they're gradually going in. So we'll just give this a bunch of a whack as well. That's pretty much most of them. I'll leave it there so they can find their way out. And uh, on the assumption there's going to be a queen which is going to go in there, then gradually the girls will follow her in, which they seem to be doing. And look at that, they're smelling down. Look, there's a bee on me there. Come on, sweetheart, you want to go in your new home. Come on. There you go. So the bees, there's a couple of bees around here. And uh, they seem to be gradually working their way in. So that's the time being. I'll turn the camera off and we'll leave them for five minutes and then um, we'll see how things are going. 
Okay, this is about 10 minutes later and uh, as you can see you know, a lot of them have gone down, they're still there they're all beginning to congregate on the um, frame with the comb in it and uh, there's still a few flies around some of them are actually going in through the entrance which is good so really not much more to do get in there you um, now this is a very small swarm um, and it's going to be very hard work for them uh, they've got to build all of the comb in these four frames here uh, although like I said they've got this one to be getting on with I wonder whether without pissing them off we'll just have a see, see how they are settling in look at them there you go bless their heart they're all getting on with stuff so we'll just leave them back in put that back in there and uh, so what uh, I'm going to do is feed them which sounds a bit crazy and uh, what I'm going to do is excuse me girls come on look thank you uh, this thing here is going to go on excuse me It's going to go on like that, and this thing is going to go over the top of it. Now, um, what happened? This slot, the beads will come up through here, and they will come up through the slot that is here and help themselves to the syrup. Uh, hopefully. Uh, without drowning. In fact, she may be our first customer. No, she's a bit shy. You want it? You try some. Okay, anyway, so that's what we'll do. Um, the thing can be fed, uh, filled up quite easily from here. And. Oops, it's broken. Put this over the top of it. What's called an eek. You want to take And on goes the roof. So, um, they seem okay. Uh, one other little thing. Um, the bees have been in this skep thing uh, overnight. Uh, for a day, for a day. Now, they were all congregated at the top. And this might be difficult to see, but here, little white patches. I'll see if I can zoom in on it. Oops, back out again. The little white patches in there. That's wax that they've been building uh, since a day or so ago. And uh, this is how medieval beekeepers used to keep bees and the bees used to build all of their comb in for inside here. Uh, unfortunately, because it made the honey almost impossible to get out, what the beekeepers would do would be to kill all of the bees and then cut the comb out and start all over again. So, there you go, that's uh, Remy's colony underway and uh, I'll leave them alone for the time being, leave them alone for a couple of weeks and then come back and see if there's a queen uh, in there and see whether she started laying. We're at school end um, and I just come up to have a quick look at the uh, two swarms that are up here just to see how they're going on. Um, this one here is uh, what I call Remy's swarm, which is the one that I got from down the road. And uh, I've been feeding them just to help them along. And as they've been here for a couple of weeks now, I thought I'd just have a, a look, a peek, to see uh, whether there's a laying queen. Now, if I just zoom in on the lady there, you'll see bits of pollen on her legs. So that's always considered to be a good sign. When I opened up the uh, nuke and uh, lifted this up, one of the frames, look at that, absolutely packed full of uh, capped brood and there's open brood at the bottom there. So I thought well done you and uh, I had a little bit of a, another look and there's another frame full of it. And then to my surprise and pleasure, 
Queen walks by and she is in there. She's at the top at the moment, uh, a couple of other uh, bees in with her. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark her. Um, thing is, I don't know how old she is and uh, oops, sorry about that, there's a bee crawling up my jacket. And uh, so I think what I'll do is I'll put a, uh, any colour I can on there. I keep a track of these things so I'll know that it isn't necessarily the right colour but at least uh, I'll be able to find in the future. So I'll just get the bee out of my uh, uh, glove that's crawling up. That was two of them in there and then we'll have a go. Right. I haven't got the tripod with me so it's going to be a bit awkward doing this. However, uh, what I'm going to use is going to be this thing and what I'm going to do is drop her into here, put the top over to lock her in and then the foam bit is moved up like that and then I can paint her through there and um, what I've got is a yellow, uh, yellow a white pen uh, and this means 2016 which might actually be what she is so the first bit which I hope will go okay is I'm going to knock her into this thing and then we can get going. And she's in. There she is. Okay, so next I just move this thing up until she is at the top. Uh, I can't squash her because there's foam in it and there's a little peg that stops it go right to the top. And what I want to try and do is get her so I can get to a thorax, he said, I've never known whether it's a thorax or an abdomen. And I've got her. So can you see just here, that's her little thoraxy thing. White pen. Beautifully administered white spot. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, now, what I need to do is leave her for a minute or so. She'll try and get out, but she can't. The slot there is big enough to let workers out, but not the queenie. So she can get her head through, and that's about as far as she can go. And she's trying. Now I'm going to leave in there for a minute or so because um, if I put her back into the hive like this, her retinue bees, which are bees that look after and feed her and clean her and do all the, everything she wants, uh, will we'll clean that stuff off her. So I need to just leave it for a minute or so before I put her back in to let the uh, paint dry. So I'll just stop the uh, camera for the time being and give her a minute or so. Right, she's ready to be uh, reunited. As you can see, she's uh, quite keen to get out. And hopefully for a minute she'll turn around and you can see the white spot on her back. She's now laying on her back. And um, now she's really keen to get out. Yep, see the white spot there? If I hold it sideways on, you can see it better. There we go. Yep, see how much longer she is than the worker bees. So we'll get her back to uh, the colony. She can carry on doing her queenie stuff. So, where are we? Here we are. And she's gone. Right, that's good news and we'll leave them to it.